Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tan Butterflies. Today we are on day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. Ouch! Sorry, Smokey just like clawed me. I'm trying to move. Uh, we're on the day 10 of the 12 days of Christmas. It is tiered tray decor or anything goes. They swapped it up. Um, our host is, our, our, both of our hosts is Brenda with Rustic and Lace DIYs and Krista with Christy's Craft, Krista's Crafty Life. Um, the original playlist, uh, thing that they had, um, done was for tier tray for de uh, day 10. And then I recently caught a graphic that they had changed it to anything go, you know, anything Christmas. So, I went with the tear tray because, well, you know me. I do more tear tray stuff anyway. Um, I will leave the playlist link and the host links in the description box. Um, and I will also go back and put all of the other playlist links in there for days one through nine. Um, so that you have easy access to any of those if you wish to watch them. I didn't participate in every day, but I did most of the days. So anyway, I took and one of the little uh, birdhouses from Dollar Tree. I pulled the little perch off of there, um, painted it, and I painted two little gin uh, wooden gingerbread men from the Dollar Tree packs that you get. I used nutmeg brown for that. And then um, I took some of the little mushrooms that you get at Dollar Tree and glued them to some little small round discs so that they stood up on their own. I painted the stems for those in the nutmeg brown and I'm painting the tops with red. Oh, and what you saw me doing with the clay a minute ago... Um, I was making gumdrops. Yes, I was making gumdrops. And I think they turned out so cute. I was so proud of myself for the gumdrops. Anyway, so I painted the, the mushroom tops red. And um, just, yeah, I don't know. You can barely see me painting over here. My camera got, my camera thing got moved when I put my phone in it and I didn't catch it. So, my angle's a little bit off. Um, I have a bad habit of when I'm doing detailed stuff, bringing what I'm working with closer to me. So it makes it harder to, um, for you guys to see, unfortunately. So anyway, um, oh, I had painted a gumdrop there and then I took and dropped it in one of those little dishes. Um, and sprinkled some hot pink glitter on it. Now I painted, I have four colors of gumdrops. Yeah. So I painted um, red ones, green ones, blue ones, and purple ones. And then I went back and, and put glue, um, glitter on all of them. You know, right after I painted them, I dropped them in a little cup like that with glitter and covered them with glitter. Uh, I did get smart. As you can see, I've got little cups right there with paint in them. I did get smart after trying to paint individually the little teeny tiny red gumdrops and decided ah, a drop of paint in one of these cups and swirl it around is going to be a much quicker. And I was right. So my little gingies, I put their, a little face on them. Now I'm taking these little um, polymer clay um, candies, the little peppermints. They're different. I've got a pack that had different colors in them. So with, um, with my little gingies, I've got one that I did with green and one that I did with pink, I believe. I think I did pink <clears throat> so that we kind of have a boy and a girl. Um, and once I get done putting those on, I'll put them on. There's two more round discs sitting there. I'll glue those to the discs. 
So while you're watching me do this, I'm going to take this opportunity to thank all of you that can uh, follow my channel and consistently watch the content I put out. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. It means the world to me. Any of you that are new here that are coming over from somebody else's playlist, uh, I invite you to also subscribe, like, comment. Um, every, every little bit of that is free, but it helps my channel grow. And I appreciate every bit of it. Um, and I, I would love for y'all to join the family. Now, if any of you uh, go through the playlist, make sure that when you're watching the other videos, let them know that you came over from my channel. All right, so as you can see, I glued the the gingies on the little discs, and now I'm going back and painting the disc and the back of them because I forgot to flip them over and paint the back um, before I put the faces on, so now I'm doing it. Can we say a little bit backwards? So anyway, I did got all that painted. Um, and you could, well, I haven't done it yet. I haven't pulled out the puff paint yet. It's coming. I don't know what it is about Christmas in the puff paint. It seems to really resonate with Christmas. I don't know. I guess maybe because when you're doing gingerbread stuff and whatnot, it makes the perfect little icing stuff, you know? Who knows? Anyway, so I took one of my little gumdrops. Oh, wait. No, not yet. Now I pulled up puff paint and I'm putting the little icing on his hands and feet. And it's taking a supreme effort for me not you know, to be extremely careful and not touch where I've got puff paint. But anyway, so I took each of my gingies. Um, the green one, I put one of the green um, gumdrops on his head. And the little girl, I put the a pink one on there, as you saw there. Oh, okay. I guess I did the girl first. Now I'm doing the guy. I just finished this. And I still don't know what I did. Go figure, right? Love getting older. The memory just goes out the window. Your your brain becomes a computer hard drive that is too full and cannot process anymore without forgetting something. And there's my little guy one. So then I turned around and went um, with my little mushrooms here. Um, they say mushrooms are, are trending this year. And I was like, at first, I, I you know, I didn't think mushrooms would be great for Christmas stuff. But I've made a few different things um, incorporating mushrooms. And when I was walking through Dollar General the other day, they had a decor piece with um, Christmassy mushrooms, so I was like, you know what? Anything goes. We're we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna incorporate them. So I took and put um, a, a pink gumdrop on the very tip of the top of the mushroom on both of them, and then took and did the the puff paint around them for the icing. Oh, I guess I'm... No, I got ahead of myself. I'm having to paint the discs that I stuck them on. I didn't paint the discs ahead of time because I did not want... Um, I, glue tends to stick better when there's not something, you know, paint or whatever. And I think I was thinking with the, the Waverly Wax, um, the Antique Wax... I have issues sometimes with the uh, uh, glue sticking, and I don't know. I guess that was in my brain because this is a similar color. So that was in my brain. I'm like, okay, well, I got to glue this stuff down and then paint around it so that it doesn't come undone. So, yeah, there's my thought process, right? <laughs> so I took and with the mushrooms and did some puff paint all the way around on them. Um, 
around that gumdrop and made it look like it was kind of dripping down the top of the mushroom and then took um, some of that pink glitter and sprinkled it to look like sugar sprinkled on top of it. And I thought I had shown you a close-up when I got done, but I did not. Um, sorry about that. That's one bad thing about doing tiny stuff is it's harder for you to see the small stuff as I'm working on it. And as you can see, I've got, you know, my lazy little helper there who is deciding that he's going to behave and just snooze. But he's got to have a paw up there. He's got to have a paw up near my projects at all times, right? <laughs> and then I took and put um, alternating colored gumdrops along the roof line and I and toward the end as I was working on some of the other embellishments um I guess I thought I was recording, and I wasn't, so I lost some footage, but it's no different process than what I've done so far, so it was just a matter of placing gumdrops and, and um, puff paint in various areas. I took and... Um, just like I said, alternating gumdrops on the roof line. And of course, the puff paint around those to make it look, you know, because when you're making a gingerbread house, you use the icing as your glue. So you've always got icing around your little things and whatnot. Um, so that's where I was going with that. I put a little bit of puff paint around each of those and in between along the roof line. And I'm sorry it's not quite always in frame. Because when I tilt it over to do the other side, I've got to get close. You know, your eyesight goes when you get older, too. I always feel like I have to have my nose right up on something. I think, though, that that's more from being nearsighted. And I struggled when I was a kid. Up until the fourth grade, I had my nose right up against anything I was looking at because um, my mom didn't believe that I couldn't see. She thought because my friend had glasses that I, you know, that it was one of those things of, oh, I'm saying I can't see because I want glasses because my friend has glasses. You know, that kind of thing. And she finally, she finally got clued in and took me to the eye doctor and so she did apologize. She said, I'm sorry, I didn't believe you. But yeah, you, you definitely need them. So I think some of the having to have it close up is have it from um, constantly. See, I knocked one of my gumdrops off there and smeared my puff paint. Go figure. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to end up doing something like that. So here I'm doing the door. But it's off frame, so I cut that, cut the rest of it out here in a minute. And yeah, and then I'm going around this here. And I, I considered taking and drilling a small hole in the back of this where I could put like, um, a string of fairy lights in there. And I might still do that because I think it would be, you know, kind of neat to have like a gingerbread Christmas village thing. Um, well, that might, you know, that might be a, a new tradition. Start doing Chris, uh, gingerbread Christmas village. Hmm. There's a thought. I'll have to get, uh, more creative each time though. So now I'm putting a couple of the gumdrops, um, on the corners there and did the puff paint around those and I started off with just the two right there, and then as I got closer to the end of the project, I was like, I made all these gumdrops. They need to go on here. So, um, I put them on there. 
All right, I'm going to have to pause this for a minute. Sorry about that interruption. Um, Dee Dee's on her way over here because we need to do some crafting for our craft show coming up toward the end of November. So I might actually get some footage of Dee Dee crafting for a change. Anyway, um, so I took and I did like the little um, tiles, so to speak, with the puff paint. And then... Um, sprinkled glitter on it and made it all kinds of sparkly. <clears throat> I, I didn't make you watch me do the whole roof. Um, and this is about where I lose any of the other footage of where I put gumdrops around and did uh, some other little embellishments. I had thought about Putting snow around the gingies and the mushrooms. Let me know what you think. Should I put some snow around the bottoms of them? Anyway, here's the finished uh, project. Oh, I put some little candies around that big hole in the middle to the window. But yeah, I'd like to give me your opinion on the snow around the gingies and the mushrooms. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.